Clary's hair is too dark and Jace has an English accent? Don't know what to read or what book to choose, just check out the Lizzie books and book to blues. This week in booktube we saw quite a few trailer reactions starting with Ginger Book Nerd and his brother. Uh, they both are in This Week in YA and they did a trailer reaction for the Mortal Instruments and the first time it was kind of like a run through and seeing their reactions and the second time it was just kind of like this is what we think of it and I definitely agree and I saw Cassie Clare's um, little video commentary on MTV where she was like you know this is not a lot of CGI this is like you know they're teaser trailer kind of thing but amazing like all that stuff like with the portal oh i am excited for this movie i saw it four times in a row like i watched the trailer four times in a row i was like so excited and uh just oh, a lot of things a lot of things then we saw cast j tuck do her whole fangirling thing over the host trailer which is amazing because i remember reading the book and loving it i need to read it again but from what i remember it was a really good book and so I assume really good things for this movie, yes. I'm sure there are more trailer reactions and I will post some below as well as on Tumblr as soon as I see them as far as like these three big movies. I think Ginger Book Nerd also did one for the Beautiful Creatures one that came out this weekend. I think there was a new one, not the one that came out like a couple months ago, but like a new one, which I still need to watch. I need to do that. If you don't know Messy Talks, you need to go subscribe to her right now. She uh, does this thing, I think it's once a week, maybe once a month, I think it's once a week. I think it is. Uh, where she kind of spotlights an author, and this week it was Libba Bray, who is one of my favorite authors. Um, she kind of touched on like the Gemma Doyle series, Gemma Doyle series? I think that's what it is, and kind of talked about Libba's life and what got her into writing and things like that. And I think that's very interesting and something to like good to share because like we get to hear about all these stories but I think it's cool to hear about the stories behind the stories so yeah. Every month Book Rat Misty does a feature on her channel called Book Chat and this month it was first reads and kind of talking about how like you know those books that you wish you could just read again for the first time and so agreed on a lot of these things especially like she did uh, Mar Marlena Marchetta's uh, Jellico Road and oh my gosh that book it just blows your mind because you're like how what what just happened because she just kind of like takes you along the story and you just have to like sit in the boat and ride it through and be like whoa what happened but yeah I, I like that whole idea of that video because it gets you thinking like if I could reread something or if I could read this again for the first time blank slate could I do it something I am super excited about is a uh, crash course started doing their literature whole thing. John Green talking about literature. Yes, I know the history one was great, but I am super, 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 so super excited that I'm messing up words. All the words. But yes, I am excited because uh, we're going to be doing great, or he's going to be doing Great Gatsby. We're all going to read it with him, right? Uh, I know I need to read that book as soon as I can. As soon as I finish Percy Jackson and The Hobbit, I can get into the Great Gatsby. So yeah, it's gonna be crazy intense reading times for me, but um, I'm excited for Crash Course very, very much. Something that I wanted to talk about and share with you that is not booktube related, but oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Colin Fisher, this book that came out, I think it was like two weeks ago. Um, I forget who it's by, but it's by a couple of awesome screenwriters and it is being narrated by Jesse Eisenberg. So I'm gonna link below to that Audible page because he did uh, the Curse Worker series by Holly Black so good and so I'm thinking that like with his personal life stuff um, that this is gonna be a really good audiobook as well as like his own acting abilities amazing so good so last night I went to go check on some channels that I haven't looked at for a while sometimes when I get subscribers and uh, I check out their channels and they they've had like one video I'm like oh, I'm gonna bookmark that come back to it so last night after a long time of not checking on these channels uh, I, I went and checked and uh, a lot of them haven't been updating in two months. Where are you guys? Did I, did I make you disappear? Were you abducted by aliens? Did you get recruited from the government to uh, do some secret science experiments? I asked some of my friends on Twitter what they thought and to come up with some fun conspiracy theories as to why some of you have not made videos, which I understand there's a lot of like school and stuff like that, but uh, I just thought it would be fun to hear what everybody else thought and to kind of get that ball rolling, maybe peer pressure you into making more videos, let it roll.